Well, just as more and more police departments are beginning to use body cameras for officers, one Utah department has turned them off altogether. Central Utah Specialist Sam Penrod is in Pleasant Grove to explain why. Sam? It really comes down to money and having enough data storage to preserve the thousands of hours of body camera footage recorded every month here in Pleasant Grove, which has been using body cameras for about two years now. But in August, officers had to stop using their cameras. We were trying to do everything we could to keep it alive. We, you know, we didn't want to abandon our program. Um, and ultimately, I ended up with officers that had body, uh, body camera footage that we couldn't put on the server because the server was too full. The chief blames it on an unintended consequence of a new state law. House Bill 300 requires officers to record every interaction with the public. And since patrol officers spent a lot of their day talking with people, the department server was filling up very quickly. Distinguishing between routine calls and footage that could be considered evidence and needed to be used in future criminal cases also made managing the storage of the new footage very time consuming for the department's 27 officers. Our officers are coming off the streets and spending an hour of their shift off the streets, um, downloading their body camera and marking those files to place on the server. So that's, you know, every officer, an hour of every shift, they're not out on the streets. Officers are still using their dash camera system and looking at options, including a cloud file management system, but that option could run at $75,000 a year that the department doesn't have in its budget now. The body cameras are being kept in a safe place here at the police department with the plan that they will be reissued to officers as soon as there is a solution to the data storage issue. Sam Penrod, Live at 5. Sam, thank you. Training